Hey Aquarius, this is Cheryl Bay here with Flirty Savage Spirit. Welcome to my channel. Let's get into your weekly reading. So general, overall, I see that there are three people in a decision that only one person is needing to make. So you may be like adventuring off, like asking other people, like, what should you do? Um, it could even actually be because, you know, maybe someone came back and offered you some type of apology or either offered to take you out on the date or offered you some type of offer. And instead of you going with your own gut feeling because you think that, you know, you are a bit confused, you're asking other people. These other people, though, they seem like that they may not be the best people to get advice about from this situation. Um, it just seems like that they don't have the same viewpoint as what you would have. You know, sometimes when you get advice from people, they are a little bit more strict about the advice that they give you wouldn't necessarily be the advice that they would give themselves. Um, so to speak is what I'm getting here. I'm getting a casual dating situation that's coming here and I feel like that maybe whomever that you're talking to is maybe advising you as if that you guys are actually in a relationship and that's not the level that you're on you're just casually dating so they're putting more demands on the situation than what actually need to be or should be at this moment in time so it seems like that they're going to be guiding you in the wrong direction if that's your story for others i see as your general energy this week i see some little drunken times i see someone going out having some fun but it may end up you know where you are passing out or maybe you regret like you know drinking as much or maybe you shouldn't have mixed brown and white liquors but something don't go well together on this situation especially if you are taking a trip like you're going somewhere and you're going somewhere as a group with people um this may not be your favorite trip like there may be some imbalances that's there and it could be that there's situations with the other people or it could just be you end up being sick upset stomach um, food poisoning or alcohol poisoning or something like that that causes you to just not be able to enjoy yourself like you would want to this week so just be mindful of your limits and making sure that you keep things in balance here because it definitely seems like your overall general energy is is some type of imbalance that's going on about something of where there is that something that you're about to approach something that you're about to approach about to do or something that someone is offering you yeah. Let's see this week in your career and finances. See what that money do for this week. Two of Cups in reverse. We got the Tower. The Chariot in reverse. Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. So the Emperor in reverse is under the bottom. So there's some immature-ish type of decisions that's being made in regards to your finances this week or your career. Um, I see some sudden, some sudden change, but a change that is necessary for you to get to this Ace of Swords. So you have to go through this division or this separation of either a thought process or an actual job, business, partnership, um a, a way that you viewed like any of those things your career or something in order to get this epiphany so i do feel like that there is going to be an epiphany when it comes to how you make money or how you're going to want to generate your coins from now on because you're wanting to stand in your queen of pentacles i also feel like aquarius you guys know that you overthink some things sometime and i feel like that you may have been your own worst energy enemy here not energy enemy here but you you balance that back out and then you get to your ace of swords you get down to the nitty-gritty of it um and if there is an unjust situation that happens or has happened to you financially there's going to be justice that's going to be brought through it you need to google i'm, I'm getting a strong presence of like googling the situation googling the people that's involved googling what your rights are um because it seems like something's going to pop up when you do a little bit more research onto this situation either or how to make money how to be the queen of pentacles but there's something that's here but it seems like that there is a change that's also here that the universe is pushing you towards um and and you, you need to like just break off whatever this 
relationship that you have with lack or, you know, a relationship that you have with fear in regards to money, change your mindset because it's definitely leading you out to a new beginning. See this week for Aquarius in romance, boote, and, you know, love. <laughs> Aquarius, what's coming up this week for you, Aquarius? We have Seven of Pentacles. Page of Swords in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse. And the Empress. I definitely think that you guys are going to be sexually involved this week. So if you haven't been touched in a while, you might be getting touched this week. Yes. No. But, um... Whatever, if that is so, if a seed is planted, <laughs> no pun intended, with the seven of pentacles um, that leads to the inference, the, the beauty, the sexual, you know, situation. It may be with someone that don't really have or at this moment they don't have longevity in the situation. You know, this is something of where it's good for the gander right now. Um this person may be a earth sign, definitely a Taurus, definitely an earth sign because you got, you know, four presences of earth, earth, earth signs here, or maybe even air. Libra, Libra, a Taurus strong, definitely Libra, a Taurus strong. Um, there may be some misunderstandings about this encounter in your love life this week. I'm seeing, I feel like that they're like someone thought that they were that that you guys were doing maybe more than casual dating and there's a disagreement about where you guys actually stand um and and the person the other person here just seems to be a little bit more immature they could be younger um they could also be like not stable financially you know but they see you as someone that is like their their empress, like they're everything, like so beautiful, uh, wanting to connect with you, wanting to go further with you. But maybe finances may stand in their way of actually connecting with you. And I see this a lot of where like the person, instead of them saying like, oh, I don't have a way there or, you know, I don't have money for Uber or something. They instead create an argument because so you don't have to see how unstable, unstable like their finances are or that you are supposed to go out. But they can't really afford to take you to in and out and get a burger or something. Um, for some reason, I don't know why I'm getting that. Like this heavily is, is influencing like the hiccups that's here has something to do with stability or money. I'm hearing scam, you know, like maybe instead of them telling you that they broke, they, they try to kind of finesse the situation and you think that the person is trying to scam you, but they probably really not trying to like overall scam you. They just needed, you know, how you get out on how they say people get out on a date and then be like, Oh, I left my wallet. And then, so now you like, you're left to pay or something of the sort. So you think that like, like they're trying to scam you, which a little bit are because they could have just said, hey, I don't have, I can, wouldn't be able to do that today. Um, but they're trying to impress you is what I'm getting. I feel like that they view you as this seven of pentacles here of how she's like, I'm good. Like I'm, I'm a planner. Like I plan for my future and that's why I'm the empress, you know? And this person is the entire opposite of that. They they don't, they live kind of float to float, whatever comes up, whenever it comes up. So if there is a situation though for you to hang out with somebody this week, just let it be casual. Just let it be fun. Don't have, take the, the, the restraints off of, you know, this has got to be a relationship. This has got to be a relationship. And you don't know this person. Now, if you know this person and you know that they're full of crap, uh, just just take the situation and only deal with the situation when you want to deal with it and not take it seriously. Stop hurting your own feelings by reading more into this person than what they're actually giving you. 
kind of straightforward to the point and but you know sometimes i have to give those kind of hardcore truths there this situation involves children um there is a retreat time for you to disconnect from the world and caring connections comes up so the children would make sense because the page of swords and the page of pentacles are both here as well so this could be involving like baby daddy baby mama you know brothers sisters stuff like that they're right there maybe they're the people that are giving you like the advice um because or they're telling you because you have kids like you need to go out with this person or maybe because you have kids that you shouldn't go and deal with some something of this sort um feel like there's a trip or there's a need to do some type of disconnecting from the world and I also feel like this caring connection is more so about you and yourself like you learning to care for you and yourself and figure some things out for yourself let's pull some oracles from my oracle deck the flirty savage oracle travel involved so yeah some people are definitely if you don't have a trip plan, it's time for you to get one plan. Oh, threesome. There is a third party that is here. Or during this travel, you may end up like not caring about anything and maybe you want to indulge in a threesome. Who knows? You know, or you could be traveling with three children. Air sign, this is you, knowing what I want or either you're overthinking. So make a balance between knowing what you want and overthinking this in order for you to have an awesome week here because I feel like that you can if you heed this message and you apply it of, you know, understanding who you're getting uh, advice from and understanding and balancing out your perspective of what type of situation you're actually in. So I'm going to wrap this up right here for you, Aquarius. I am on Instagram. Can you follow me? Flirty Savage Spirit on Saturdays. I'm sorry, on Sundays. I do lives for 20 minutes where it's free questions and answers. You just have to follow me because the times vary from Sunday to Sunday. And as always, I love you if you've already subscribed. And I love you as well if you subscribe now. See you guys next time.